Hi guys, today is a review day. We are going to talk about the new oscilloscope Siglen SDS-1000XE series. There are three models in the market, two channels 200 MHz, four channels 100 MHz, and four channels 200 MHz. All of them with one giga sample per second each two channels. It means if I use only one channel, I will get one giga sample per second. If I use two channels, it will be 500 mega samples per second each channel. This is what Siglent calls super phosphor technology. This kind of oscilloscope, they have a wide screen, but it's a very shiny, glossy screen. So the image is beautiful is gorgeous in 14 bits. I will make a quick review because I don't have the resources to go to analyze the parameters in the oscilloscope but it's something that we will do later in the next electronics laboratory videos and we will talk about them. First impressions. When I did the unboxing it was very well packed and there was an oscilloscope with foams protecting the oscilloscope from any impact. Very well done. Four bags with the test uh, prof uh, leads, all of them with adjuster, with color rings, the whole set of color rings, adapters for the tip, the spring adapter connector for the ground, and also the BNC adapter to connect the test probe directly to BNC uh, connections. The oscilloscope itself is well done. Plastics, silicone, rubber, buttons, the printing in the buttons, the size of the buttons, the match of the colors with the plastic is very well done. And also all the knobs, they are press buttons too. This kind of oscilloscope has one set of vertical knobs control per four channels. That means I have to select the channel using one button. Some people like it, others they don't. Uh, in my point of view is nowadays technology has more functions than before. And the question is if we have to add more controls and buttons and knobs for the functions or more functions to the buttons and knobs. Uh, I write it this way, but if you like one vertical uh, control set per channel individual, there is other model of signal that you can search in the market and you can buy too. There is one USB connector here and in the rear side there is two USB connections, the network connection and the trigger connector. And here in front, there is an extra connector for accessories as a function generator or logic analyzer. In Siglent web page, we can find information about them. This oscilloscope has the serial communication decoder uh, open to the users so you will buy the oscilloscope you have the function with it today we are not going to make a deep analysis of this uh, device just something superficial and the rest of the views we will find it out in the next videos when we get an oscilloscope 100 megahertz 200 megahertz the first thing we want to do is to run to electronics laboratory and plot it and connect it to the faster frequency source we have to see how it works and this case will not be a deception we are going to do exactly the same so let's turn this puppy on guys this is very important please new technology is not like technology in the past Nowadays technology has microcontrollers, microprocessors and firmware, software, operative system, OS. That means Windows, OS, 
Linux, whatever the firmware is, we have to take care of it. And the only way to take care of it is please do not interrupt the booting cycle in the devices and some equipments they will ask you to wait for the lock off. Wait until the software does its job because it has to read from one part of the memory, put it in the execution and at the end record all the final data and put it back in the place it has to be stored. The way to do not get corrupt software is to not interrupt the reading cycle in the booting and the logging off because that is in your hands. We have to take care of that. Now I don't have 200 megahertz but I have 120 megahertz and I will connect it to it is the faster frequency source I have here my function generator. If you pay attention, the wave is shaking a little. It's not so stable. The reason is because high frequency oscilloscopes, they have the tendency to pick up everything and to show everything. And it means radio frequency around the mobile phone, the table, house, telephone, wireless telephone, switching power supplies, any kind of noise around any kind of transmitter will be shown here. Just to give you an example, you can listen to my voice through the speakers in your computer, but if your dog is next to you, probably your dog will listen to me, will listen all kinds of noises coming out from the speaker, will listen to your brother playing in the other room with the computer, your sister talking at the telephone with somebody else in, at the telephone, and also the cat that is walking on the roof. And that's not noise pollution. It's just that your dog's hearing has the capability to pick up more things than the ones you, that you are listening. So in high frequencies, we have to take average of the readings. Now it's stable. Something I like from this oscilloscope is the capability of the measurements. Let's remember the wider the wave, if we can show only one wave, we get more precision on the screen. Trigger. In the old technology, we used to get the trigger starting at this point. The reason why we cannot start there is because we are starting in the center. The wave will initialize in the center of the screen wherever the trigger touches. From the goods and the bats from the oscilloscope. Drift on the knobs. This portion of the wave is what I have here down. I want to move and travel through the wave. Pay attention to the movement in the knob.
the drift in the knobs depends of my hand's speed because it's not a variable resistor, it's an encoder and it depends of the frequency of the pulse. What I do is, if I have to choose between the rest of the options, I use the knob. If I have to choose between the one in the top with the one in the bottom, I'd rather to use the button. And the issue and the problem is there is no issue, there is no problem. Something everybody has to deal with too, with this kind of technology, is the weight of the oscilloscope. Touching a knob down is not a major problem. The upper buttons, the upper knob, if I apply force, I will probably push it back. The reason is because all oscilloscopes, they have big body and they were very heavy and nobody can push them back so easy. This oscilloscope is not so light. It has some weight and it's better than other kind of oscilloscopes I saw in the market with the same characteristics. And I will not push it back, but probably I will move it. So think about it if you need to put something behind it or if you need to put something to do not slide down. Math functions. This one is hard to see with the camera. I have several colors there. And it shows the persistence of the wave. Where is it changing? Where is more stable? Where is crossing to? If I just go to the average, the colors will stop and will show more effective uh, measurement. But it's very important for us to see where changes are happening. So far, so good. Next point to see is language. It's in English, I will turn it to Spanish. If we pay attention, system status, Auto calibrar, sonido, language, español, página siguiente, and page. Did you hear that? Yep, this is Spanglish. It's not totally in Spanish. Some of the words are in English and others they are in Spanish. Little defect. Yes, it can be corrected with firmware for this oscilloscope, maybe, or at least it can be corrected for the next batch of productions in the software itself. It doesn't affect me, maybe it needs our collaboration. So please guys, check the other languages to see if the translation is okay. If Siglen needs help with the translation, make the comments down below and let's talk to Siglin to make the changes required for the next batch of oscilloscopes and probably maybe could be fixed in the next uh, firmware for us if not at least for the next generation the truth is it doesn't affect me uh, if you are in Latin America probably most of your equipment has uh, the display and instructions in English. If you are in Spain, probably some of your equipment is in German. Anyhow, it's not a major issue. It's just a little defect that doesn't affect the functionality of the equipment. I said it was going to be a very fast, quick review because the rest we will watch it in the next videos. Okay, now let's judge the equipment. 
and I will put it in the balance with the last oscilloscope I bought, just because the budget. Last time I bought 50 MHz, two channels, smaller screen, less resolution in the screen, not the serial communication uh, system like the, this one, the decoder for serial communication, and less functions like the navigation and less functions like the capability to pick up the trigger from e either one of the channels. I paid more money last time for my last oscilloscope than the price of this oscilloscope in the market. I can see here 200 MHz 4 channel wider screen, high resolution screen, a lot of precision and a lot of extras that I didn't have before. So coin by coin this oscilloscope is worth its price but it's not only that its price is lower than most of the oscilloscopes in the competition right now. Siglen is offering more oscilloscope for less price. Little issues that they are not major problems that I have to adapt to. Yes, one set of vertical knobs for four channels. That's not a major deal. I have four buttons to choose which channel do I want. Little bit of drip in the knobs. Okay, no problem. I can adapt my hand speed to the speed required for this kind of knobs. It's not totally in Spanish. Okay, it's not a major issue, the translation. And it's not so heavy to do not push it back. There is no way in a modern oscilloscope I can avoid this kind of situation because even when this one is heavy enough, this kind of shave will require to put something behind, wanted or not. By the rest, I will give probably two point less because the little drift in the knobs and because the translation and I will give a qualification of 98%. It's a great oscilloscope worthy from any point of view. I have one, I will use it and I will recommend it. Thanks guys by watching the video.